Well, happy Sunday morning, everyone. Um, hopefully you all have had a great weekend. I've been busy as all get out. Just trying to get anything accomplished, it seems. It just seems to take forever with me. And I don't know why. But, uh, yay, we made it to Sunday. And the weekend's almost over now. But I hope it's been going well for you all. Um, let's see. Today I want to give a shout out to, uh, someone, uh, Cassie. Now, Cassie does a lot of, uh, readings and stuff on her channel and other things. Um, but I think ma mainly readings are her thing. And uh, her channel is called Oracles and Beyond, and I'll give it a, I'll put it down in the description link below. You need to go check her out. She's, uh, she's got a great sense of humor. She's very good at what she does, and... Boy, she's got so many decks of cards. I'll tell you. I think it's like a hobby of hers to uh, to collect them. I, I'm envious. <laughs> I am. But, uh, yeah, go check her out if you haven't already. How have you all been liking the segments on the uh, herbs and their uses and stuff? I'll be including another one in here today. And uh, before that segment comes up, let me ask you, how is a sheep and ginger related? Think on that a little bit. Because that answer will be coming up. Needless to say, though, ginger will be the herb of the day. But you have to stick around in the second segment to, to watch that. Anyway, I'm shuffling, cutting, and... Let's see what today's card is. It is the Ten of Cups. Okay, and now in this card, if you look at it closely, it looks like uh, death and uh, a bunch of spirits are having their own little parade or celebration of sorts. They seem to be uh, pretty happy in their uh, afterlife. From its joyful depiction, if you want to consider that joyful, uh, the ten, in, ten of Cups embodies happiness, joy, contentment, and emotional satisfaction in the family, relationship, or a companion. It represents an idyllic state of comfort, harmony, peace, and love, which, make, which makes you feel like you are in paradise. This is where all your dreams, wants, needs, and wishes have been fulfilled, and you feel a complete sense of satisfaction. Take a moment and breathe. Look around you, and be thankful for all your blessings. This card signifies something that so many of us are searching for. And this card is most associated with a sense of happily ever after, 
a family of lasting harmony and of peace. This is an indication of harmonious family, for the card shows you that you are living in the perfect peace. No more adjustments or shifting is needed. You are in the right. Just relax and enjoy your moment. In a love reading, this card shows that it is romantic, real, and genuine, and has a strong potential for something long-term. It deserves all your effort to make it come true. The Ten of Cups could also indicate a family holiday where you can relax and spend time with your family members. Okay, well, Thanksgiving is coming up, so uh, hmm. I guess it's pretty appropriate right now. Okay, in the actual love reading of the Ten of Cups, love is calm and sweet with the Ten of Cups. Spending time with your family can be particularly rewarding right now. You may be introducing your partner to your family or taking the next step in your commitment together. The Ten of Cups love meaning also suggests long-term stability, tranquility, and comfort. If you're single and you meet someone at this time, it's likely that the relationship will be one that lasts. Now in careers, Though the Ten of Cups is more often connected to family than work, this card can also bring some joy to your career. This card can signify a type of comfort and belonging that you find from your current position. There is enough opportunity for growth and creativity that you do not need to worry about those aspects of your career. There is also likely cohesion and happiness between you and your coworkers, and the office culture can feel welcoming and supportive. You may find that the job gives you a comfortable work-life balance as well, and you have the security of spending a good chunk of time with your family. This card can also signify retirement or leaving a job to take care of a family. And financially, since the Ten of Cups signals family stability and harmony, you may find that you and your loved ones have what you need to feel happy and comfortable. This doesn't always translate to wealth, but the knowledge that there is enough of a feeling for stability and security. If you've previously had fights with family over financial issues, these way may now dissipate. All right, so there you have it. The ghostly uh, Ten of Cups. Ginger. ginger grows in the ground, looking gross, tasting sour. Ground ginger. But in my case, I have ginger root. And it's a little dried up, as you can see. It's not extremely fresh. I've had it for a while. What, what Albert will do is he'll just cut off a slice of ginger. You know, it's a small bite side slice and he'll just eat it. Ginger is a flowering plant that originated in Southeast Asia. It's among the healthiest and most delicious spices on the planet. It's closely related to turmeric and cardamom. The rhizomes, the underground part of the stem, which is this, is a part commonly used as a spice. It's often called ginger root or simply ginger. Ginger can be used fresh, dried, powdered, or as an oil or juice. It's a very common ingredient in recipes. It's sometimes added to processed foods and cosmetics. It contains ginger roll, which has powerful medicinal properties. It's believed that ginger has been cultivated for at least 5,000 years having originated in the islands of Southeast Asia. It's a cultigen, meaning that it was deliberately bred and doesn't actually exist in a wild state. It was used widely by the Austronesians peoples for multiple purposes, from food to medicine to material to make mats with. It's also had a religious significance and was used ritually when asking for protection from spirits and for healing ceremonies. The Austronesian peoples that took ginger with them when they voyaged to other islands, and in this way they introduced ginger to the Pacific Islands, it's thought that they also brought it to India, 
from where it was brought to the Middle East and the Mediterranean by traders. The first written record of ginger came from the no other than famous Confucius, 475 to 221 BC, who wrote that you should eat it with every meal. Confucius say eat with every meal. Ginger was a very popular spice in ancient Rome, where it was prized for its medicinal properties and supposed it helped with fertility. Due to its cost, it was seen as a symbol of wealth. It continued to be a highly sought-after commodity in Europe, even after the Roman Empire fell. Middle Eastern merchants controlled the ginger and spice trade for centuries. In the 1100s, tariffs were placed on ginger imports in Marseille, France. Although I'm not sure if it was part of France at that time. Now here's a little bad news. In 1200 to 1380 in England, a pound of ginger was expensive and cost about the same as a sheep. Bah. By medieval times, ginger was being imported readily into Europe in both raw and preserved forms, though at this time preserved ginger was favored to be used in sweets. Queen Elizabeth I is thought to have invented the gingerbread man, which then became a popular treat at Christmas. She had it made because her father had recommended ginger as a remedy for the plague. Interesting and slightly frightening origins for such a delicious treat. So gingerbread men were thought to combat the Black Death. Spanish conquistadors introduced ginger to the New World and brought it to the Caribbean, where it flourished. Ginger was one of the first spices to be introduced from Europe. Native Americans also started using ginger as treatments for various ailments and also as a flavoring agent for their food. Today, ginger is found in many spice cabinets all over the world. It's a common treatment for colds and flus and is often prescribed in tablet form to those who suffer from seasickness. I did not know that. Traditional Chinese medicine believes that ginger will treat the whole human body. This is because when it's harvested, ginger roots often look like they could have a head, legs, and arms, like a little voodoo doll type thing, I guess. You can make wine out of ginger. Ginger beer will also almost always turn alcoholic. The name ginger comes from the Sanskrit word meaning horn root after ginger root's appearance. This was translated into the Latin gingiber and into Old English gingibra, which has now turned into just ginger. And ginger is also a character on Gilligan's Island. There's a useless trivia fact that probably all of you already knew. The ancient Greeks would eat ginger wrapped in bread after a large meal to aid digestion. The ancient Austronesians used it to bless ships. Okay, and I'll go over this list. And many of these, amazingly, are the same for everything I've covered so far. The mint, the, the cinnamon, and now the ginger. So you'll see, it sounds like I'm repeating myself a lot, but I'm really not all that much. Anyway, here we go for the list of these. Ginger is used as an anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, helps to reduce gas, helps ease nausea, a great remedy for seasickness, as I mentioned a while ago, might help muscle pain in the long term, may help to ease the symptoms of colds and flu, may help those suffering from osteoarthritis, may lower blood sugars, may improve oral health, may help to treat chronic indigestion, may help to relieve menstrual pain, may lower cholesterol, may help to protect against Alzheimer's disease, may help improve brain function, and helps to fight infection. Ginger oil has a powerful anti-inflammatory an antioxidant effect, which according to research, for instance, it may help reduce oxidative 
stress, which is the result of having an excessive amount of free radicals in the body. Ginger is considered safe to consume in reasonable quantities. It's on the FDA's generally recognized as safe list. It does interact with some medications. So if you are taking anticoagulants or heart medication in particular, definitely check with your doctor before consuming ginger as a health tonic. And I always say, see your doctor first before you follow any of this. If you have problems of these natures, medical natures, see your doctor first. I know I sound like a broken record, but I, I would hate to see anybody follow this and have major issues that could be treated medically and are not getting the treatment because they think they're treating it this way instead. Y'all know what I mean, so please see your doctor first. It can treat many forms of nausea, especially morning sickness. Ginger appears to be highly effective against nausea. It may help relieve nausea and vomiting for people undergoing certain types of surgery. Ginger may also help chemotherapy-related nausea, but larger human studies are needed. However, it may be the most effective when it comes to pregnancy-related nausea, such as morning sickness. Although ginger is considered safe, Talk to your doctor before taking large amounts if you're pregnant. It's highly, it's highly recommended that pregnant women who are close to labor or who have miscarriages avoid ginger. May help with weight loss. Ginger may play a role in weight loss according to studies conducted in humans and animals. Ginger could also help reduce body mass index, BMI, and blood insulin levels. High blood insulin levels are associated with obesity. Ginger's ability to influence weight loss may be related to certain mechanisms, such as its potential to help increase the number of calories burned or reduced inflammation. It can help with osteoarthritis, which involves degeneration of the joints in the body, leading to symptoms such as joint, joint pain and stiffness. There are some studies showing ginger to be effective at reducing symptoms of osteoarthritis, especially osteoarthritis of the knee. May drastically lower blood sugars and improve heart disease risk factors. Ginger has been shown to lower blood sugar levels and improve various types of heart disease factors in people with type 2 diabetes. Can help treat chronic indigestion. Chronic indigestion is characterized by recurrent pain and dis discomfort in the upper part of the stomach. Ginger appears to speed up emptying of the stomach, which can be beneficial for people with indigestion and related stomach discomforts. May significantly reduce menstrual pain. Dysmenorrhea refers to pain felt during the menstrual cycle. Ginger appears to be very effective against menstrual pain when taken at the beginning of the menstrual period. Oh, boy, I get into these topics. I do it for you all. It's all educational. May help lower cholesterol levels. High levels of LDL, bad cholesterol, are linked to an increased risk of heart disease. There's some evidence in both humans and animals that ginger can lead to significant reductions in LDL, bad cholesterol, total cholesterol, and blood triglyceride levels. It contains a substance that may help prevent cancer. Ginger has been studied as an alternate remedy for several forms of cancer. Gingerol in ginger appears to have protective effects against cancer. However, more studies are needed. May improve brain function and protect against Alzheimer's disease. Oxidative stress and chronic inflammation can accelerate the aging process. Animal studies suggest that ginger can protect against age-related damage to the brain. It can also help improve brain function in middle-aged women can help fight infections. Gingerol can help lower the risk of infections. Ginger may help fight harmful bacteria and viruses, which could reduce your risk for inf infections. If you want to add ginger to your diet, you can do so through what you eat and drink. The bottom line, 
Ginger is loaded with nutrients and bioactive compounds that have powerful benefits for your body and brain. It's one of the very few superfoods actually worthy of that term. Using ginger in abundance and prosperity spells is wonderful. The magical properties of ginger have a particular particular affinity with manifesting abundance and warding away poverty. Ginger is not only wonderful in magic, but it also is a stunning plant. Keep a small pot of ginger on a windowsill and enjoy its beauty while it's calling abundance, luck, and good fortune to it. And I have a few ginger plants around. They like good light, and they don't like to dry out too much. And if you're lucky, some of them will flower for you. Just set them outside in the summertime. Or if you're in a warm area, such as Florida, you can probably keep them out year-round, practically. If you chew raw ginger or drink ginger tea before doing any magical work, you will increase your own energy, which will in turn make the spell more successful. Ginger is considered an aphrodisiac, so use it in love spells to do with passionate love. It will also help increase your confidence, so drink a little ginger tea before heading out on a date that you might be nervous about. If you want to smoke cleanse your home or your tools, you use dried ginger, and this one's halfway there. It keeps away malevolent energy and drives out any negativity you may have been feeling. If you suffer from nightmares, place some ginger under your bed in order to ease the nightmares and make you feel calmer. Ginger is associated with the deities Hecate, Emeritat, I've never heard of her, and Artemis. In the zodiac, its symbol is Aries. The planet is Mars. The element is fire. Gender is masculine. And cr associated crystals are citrine, carnelian, pyrite, fool's gold, and garnet. The very old use of this root suggests that a clean piece of the ginger root must be chewed and then spat out. Then it could be applied to a sick part of the body. It can also be applied to the photograph of a person who is sick. Hmm. I think you'd have to be pretty strong to be able to do something, pull off something like that. Pour some slices of ginger into a glass of wine or a cocktail you drink with your partner to rejuvenate the flame of passion. You can only do that if your relationship is healthy. You shouldn't use this practice in a relationship that has many problems, since these can only worsen. Sprinkle some powdered ginger root on your wallet or in your pocket to attract more money. Chewing or eating some root or drinking a ginger tea helps fight fatigue and provides more personal energy, so you should do it before doing a ritual of love, prosperity, or protection to increase your mental energy. Now let's get to the smudging. And it doesn't say a lot on it, but it says enough. Smudging some ginger root at home helps to attract success. Smoke from the ignited ginger root also helps dissolve spells that have been made against the person and helps energize personal amulets. Huh. Okay. I'm taking these away now. I'm all done, Ginger. Well, thank you all for joining me today. I hope you have a, a very happy, blessed Sunday. Peace be with you. And everyone. And until tomorrow, bye-bye.